the previous contestant? Exactly. The past winning contestants. That is they, okay? Okay. So I'm going to change it to what the old winners tell you, okay? Okay. What is it? The, the button? The or? buzzer. That's right. It is the buzzer. And it looks like a remote control. Okay. Okay. Um, so, this, and what is what? Uh, the strategy. Exactly. Okay. So this part is useless. We can just look at it from here. This is the main part. So the strategy is when you buzz the buzzer to hit the button several times. So the key part of the sentence is this. The strategy is to hit the button several times. Does that make sense? Yeah, thank you. Good. My pleasure. It's a long, complicated sentence. And it continues. Okay. And this. Okay, five bucks. Uh, I want to know why, what, what delay, what, what delay bet, you know, five bucks for what? Okay, so in the game, sometimes you have a chance to bet any amount of money, okay? Okay. So usually they will bet, in this case, he is behind by $400, right? Yes. So usually the player will bet at least $400 or maybe $500 so they can be in the lead. Do you understand? Okay, but after they bet, what will happen? Okay, so first of all, but when they make a bet, they have to check the category. Is it a good category for me or a bad category? Okay. So for me, geography would be a good category, but math would be a bad category, okay? But, but who picked the category for you? It's on the board. It's on the board. Okay. So in his case, the category was sports. And sports is not a good category for him. But, so, uh, okay. so he only bet $5, which is actually very funny. I have never heard anybody betting $5 on Jeopardy. Okay. But my question is, who picked sports? I mean, who picked sports for two, or he picked the okay, category I'll show for you. himself? No, I'll show you a picture. Hold on a second. Okay. Let's go to a Jeopardy game board. Yeah. And we'll go images. See if I can find one that says sports. Ah, oh, here we go. So. This is the idea of a game board, science, math, geography, miscellaneous, and sports, okay? Okay. So remember, choose strategies to jump around. He'll go here, then here, then here, then here. Do you understand? Okay. Now, by chance, he picked sports $300, and this was the bonus clue and what that means they call it double jeopardy and what you what if you get double jeopardy then you can bet any amount so even though he doesn't like sports he had the opportunity to bet anything do you understand okay okay so so he actually picked sports but he didn't pick the chance to bet a lot of money that was a bonus, but for him, okay. not a good bonus because sports is not his area. But uh, how could you 
win the money? I mean, if you bet, how could you win the money? If you answer the question correctly. So five bucks is bonus or? No. So, so once again, if he picked sports $300 and it's a double jeopardy chance, he can bet $5, he can bet $300, he can bet $5,000. If he's correct, he gets the money. But if he's incorrect, he loses the money. Oh, I got it. And that's why he only bet a small amount. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Good. But if, if he answered the question correctly, he gets he get five dollars. And plus three hundred. No, only five dollars. No, only okay. five dollars. Okay. That's why you have to be careful. Okay. If you go to YouTube, you can see uh, Jeopardy games. So if you have a chance, watch one sometimes. They're very difficult, but you'll get the idea. Yeah, the question you ask is, wow, terrible. I just know, I, I think, two of them. That's good. Yeah. yeah. How was my Chinese pronunciation? The Sui Dynasty. Uh, not not bad. And the was it Tuju? Uh, actually, I don't know. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried about my pronunciation. It's okay. <laughs> we also have Daniel has joined us. Hi, Daniel. From where? Daniel from, from Russia. Oh, I see. Ahoy, Daniel. Yeah. Ahoy. You sound like a chocolate chip maker. <laughs> Do you know Chips Ahoy? No, I've never heard. I'll show you. Better than those Chips Ahoy. No. What's that? These Chips Ahoy cookies. Oh no, I um, uh, I didn't know that they were Ahoy. <laughs> oh, Chips Ahoy, very delicious. Yeah. No, junk. <laughs> yeah, it's it's junk food, but tasty. Mm, no, it's not tasty. <laughs> Santa Raisin says. She would make a trip for Chips Ahoy every day. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, no. Not for me. <laughs> Not even if I make them at home. Oh, homemade chocolate chip cookies are the no. best. No, no, no. My grandma was a professional. Yeah. More questions? Well, I have uh, questions about um, pronunciation in this lesson. Okay, in, uh, TM96? Uh, yeah, and I, I would like to know uh, if you can check my pronunciation in the first sentences where it says, even if I were to lose the next game. Is that okay? Even if I were to lose or were to lose? A little bit more D. The second time was better. Where to lose? Where to lose? Where to lose? That sounds great. That sounds Where really good. Where to lose? Yep. All right. And um, and there's one more sentence is where it says it's uh, 31 days of Oscar. How do you connect um, off in that uh, sentences? Days of Oscars. Yeah. Days of Usually, right, usually we'll say days of Oscar, days of Oscar. Yeah, and um, also sometimes the pronunciation is confused uh, for me, like O-F and O-F-F. -F. So I know the O-F is pronounced like a V. Of? Yeah, but uh, somehow when uh, I... Uh, Hear them speaking when they pronounce "of." I mean, "of" it sounds like an "of." How can okay. I tell? 
Yeah, especially in this case. Uh, for example, in this case, we'll say of half, of half. So especially, Beretta, if this consonant is like an H, then it sometimes makes the V sound like an F. Yeah, that definitely happens, Beretta. Um, yeah. And these are, you know, this is the type of word... And you can think about in Spanish, too. Do you, when you speak Spanish, do you think about prepositions? Mm, I don't think so. No, it just comes out no. naturally, automatically, right? Yeah. That's the same thing with Americans. We don't really think of the word. It just comes out naturally. So for an English student, oh, it's very frustrating because they're thinking about the word, but they're not hearing it. So that's why sometimes I tell students, take a step back and just listen, and then it will probably be easier. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. So in this case, days of Oscar, you connect the F to the O. Yes, I would. Oscar, days of Oscar. Days of Oscar. Days of Oscar. Days of Oscar. Yeah. And then um, again here, and what he says, give us an idea of. So idea, it ends in, uh, how do you connect the O there? Yeah, in this case, if I said it fast, Berta, I would probably cancel the V. Give us an okay. idea of the strategy. Idea the strategy. All right. Okay? Okay, thank you. Yep. That's it. Yeah, lots of people in this case where he said, first off, lots of people wrote, first of all. I know Yuka did for sure, first of all, first of all. Was that, you did, right, Yuka? Yes, I did. Yeah, many people did, many people did. But what's interesting is, it, it means the same thing. First off and first of all mean the same thing. But that's one of those cases where of and off are really kind of tough to distinguish. I, I agree. I understand. Yeah. And also I have a question about EDM, about the cashews. You know, I was listening to the to your podcast, uh, 15. Yeah. And you said that it's a seed, not a nut. Yes. And then if it's a seed, can we plant it? <laughs> I guess so, Berta. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a botanist, but yeah, if, if it's a seed, then... But the thing is, Berta, when they send us the cashews, they have to roast them because if you touch the raw cashew, it will make your skin very itchy. Okay. So, but yeah, I, I guess actually you could plant the cashew. Yeah. <laughs> And have a cashew tree, a cashew apple yeah. tree. That'd be great. I'd love it. Right. Yeah. I think yeah. Jerry has a question for DDM92. Yes. Hold on a second, Jerry. I don't have 92 out. Just a second. Okay. Uno momento. Oops, I need to change here. Un momento. Un momento. Yeah. <laughs> My damn terrible Spanish. 92, 92. <gasps> oh, here it is. DDM 92. Answers. Okay, Jerry, this is it. Yep, this is uh, the random facts. Go ahead, Jerry. Okay. You, you mean my question? Yes. Oh, my question is the, the sentence. You say this carbon is left with water to create the substance of I the see. tree? Yes. But I think it's stay, not left. You think it's what? Stay. Staying with water to create the substance of the tree. Ah, like S-T-A-Y? Oh, yeah, stay. Okay. Well, we couldn't say... Okay. Um... No, grammatically that's not going to make sense, but the meaning is the same thing. The meaning is the same thing, Jerry. But he said it's left means it's gone, right? No, 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 no. 
remains. This carbon is left means this carbon remains. Okay. Ah, I see. Yeah, that's a great point. So is left is the same as remains. Okay. Capish? Do you understand? <laughs> There we go. There we go. So this carbon remains with water. This carbon is left with water. Exact same thing. Good question. Okay, it's kind of weird for me. Uh, I mean, so let's say this, uh, Jerry. How much money do you have in your pocket now? Yes. Zero. <laughs> Lie to me. Say you have ten dollars. Okay. I have ten dollars in my pocket. Okay, so if you give me five dollars and if you give uh, Daniel two dollars, how much is left? Three dollars. There you go. Got it? Okay, so three dollars is, is left. left. Okay. Okay, got it. Thanks. You bet. And this. <laughs> and yet the number of synapses in your brain cerebral cortex alone. Okay. Jump down here. So let's look at the full sentence. Okay. So this is the full sentence. So I think you understand the number of synapses in your brain cerebral cortex. You understand that, right? Oh uh, yeah, my question is what does alone here mean? Right, oh. right. And alone emphasizes only, just this number only. Okay. Okay, so alone here is the same as only. Does that make sense now? Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, good. I'm spilling coffee. Ah. Or that in a population of clownfish, if the female dies, let's go where is that? Okay. And what's your question here, Jerry? Uh, the first question is what is what does population here mean? Okay. It means a local group in a. So I'll change it here. So fish, do fish live alone or do fish live in groups? In groups. Yes, and we call that group a school. So a group of fish is called a school of fish. Okay? okay. So that's the case here. So we can get rid of this part. Uh, did you know is the idea. I'll make it small. Did you know in a school of clownfish. And in the ocean, there are many schools of clownfish, right? Yes. Yes. So in this, in a particular school of clownfish, if the female dies, the dominant male will become a female. Does that make sense? Uh, no. What does that mean? The okay. The male will become a female. Right. So the dominant, the most dominant male. What does that mean? Means the the king or exactly exactly. It means the king. The king will become a queen. How? What? I don't know. That's that's what's interesting. So that's what happens though for clownfish. So in the clownfish school, who's number one, the man or the woman? Uh, I guess the 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 female. 
That's right. The female is, is the queen. Okay, she's the boss. So if the queen dies, and there must only be one queen in each school, if the female dies, then the dominant male becomes a queen. <laughs> and here, becoming physically means all that, this. Yes, they're saying physically loses its peace and becomes a woman. <laughs> oh, wow. And here is removed. What does removed mean? Okay, uh, maybe killed. It could mean in this case killed uh, or injured or something like that. Uh, di uh, dies. Okay. Okay? Okay. Pretty wow. scary, pretty crazy, huh? Oh, yeah. I just couldn't, I just couldn't imagine. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Clownfish women, they're tough. Oh, yeah. Next question. What's the difference between these two words? Construction and structure. Mm, the structure. Like, uh, about the sentence? Right, right. And when we talk about uh, the construction of a sentence, we're specifically talking about the method of making a sentence. When we're talking about the structure of a sentence, we're talking about the placement of words. Okay. So elementary students, they study sentence construction. But middle school students, they study sentence structure. All right. Uh, it's a little bit confused. It is, yeah. Me, but okay. So just think about this. Construction, making a building, making a sentence. Structure, looking at the pieces of the building, looking at the pieces of a sentence. Okay. So structure is like more detail? Yeah. Noun, verb, adverb, adjective, right. Okay. And Jerry's been absent for a while. He's got great questions. Shane? Yes, Kuni. Uh, yeah, I have a structure engine. I, we have a structure engine department in our college. Right. In the department. Yeah, they deal with uh, any kind of structure of the, from the machine, building, bridge, yeah, and the very small side or from to the large scale, yeah. But they look at specific mm -hmm. parts structure. of the construction, right? The structure. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. So, yes, yeah, structural have, engineering uh, is big. Yeah, I have... Uh, this I, I did I, I, I promised to uh, make a list for yeah last week so that I put into this list I I don't know how to say probably <laughs> okay okay uh, our first yeah DDM DDM mm, mm, ninety three okay first listen DDM ninety three yeah. yep mm, yeah uh, uh, I don't need a uh, quick response, but just I say the question. Uh, uh, first, uh, yeah, one is um, sales. Uh, I'm interested in the sales women. Yeah, very tall women in yep. Russia. Yeah, uh, she behaves a bit good sometimes. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, which I feel the. She hold she hold the arms uh, in front of the chest. Right? Yeah, she holds her arms in front of her. That's right. Yeah, it's uh, a bit weird uh, behavior by next to the uh, customers. Yeah, and but uh, in that case, of course. I don't know. Uh, there is a mirror for the 
in front of the meter of the, for the two uh, Georgia and uh, Natasha, Russia, and uh, they uh, they look uh, they want to see their uh, uh, fittings fitting or not uh, with the jacket. Okay. Uh, that the scene probably I just guess, but uh, yeah, mm, for for her arms. Uh, across the across the chest, is that a bit rude, probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's rude. Hold on, just a second. Hi, Carlo. Hi, Carlos. Carlos says he doesn't have a microphone, um, so he can only see and hear. That's great, Carlos. You can still stay and uh, leave messages. That's fine, Carlos. Uh, you don't have to go. Uh, let me go back to Cooney. Yeah, the woman at the clothing store was very rude. But in America, we have a stereotype. We have an image of the European expensive clothing stores. The staff, men and women, are very rude. Uh, mm -hmm. That's just the typical image that we have uh, of those types of, you know, Euro trash stores. It's a stereotype. Yeah. Okay, and uh, and uh, yeah, and Kramer, Kramer uh, about Kramer's action. Uh, uh, she was uh, given a scratch by the cashiers. Right. Yeah, back scratching. Yeah. Uh, his face is a kind of looks. Yeah. Sensual looks. Oh yeah, he's 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 yeah. love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a funny. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. He's 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 enjoying himself. Yes. Mm. Next, uh, DDM ninety four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This. Uh, what? Uh, what? 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 Your flash. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As my fact, actually, I I have but two, say two two person who dealing with this kind of business. Uh, one is my my son. Yeah, he graduated from the civil engineer, uh, civil engineer department. Right. And she right now mm, work for the uh, company name is uh, MJ MJS. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a show for uh, show for the Japanese uh, company's name. Okay. Nippon, Nippon Jogesido uh, system or something. Yeah, I can't cancel that company. Okay. Yeah. So. So this is uh, a very good subject for you and your son. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I want to this kind of uh, jargon. <laughs> Maybe. Right, <laughs> right, right. You have to give this thing work, to yeah. your son. Yes. Uh, swear, swear, yeah. Sewer, so, sewer. Sewer, 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 uh, sewer. Blockage. And uh, maybe uh, sewage or su uh, sewage. Sewage, that's right, yep, sewage. Yeah. And also, well, similar word, drain or drainage. Yep. Yeah, and also I have, uh, yeah, uh, yes, uh, a friend, yes, student, uh, already not a student, ex homestay student, and uh, yeah, ten years ago he a uh, day uh, a girl uh, stayed with us uh, for almost six months in Nagasaki, and she came back and got married with. Uh, Army man, yeah, and he was uh, right now oh, work for the uh, yeah uh, a kind of echo uh, work for the echo village in Costa Rica with her. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and he work uh, work worker as a kind of uh, yeah water purification of such a kind of place uh, echo village in Costa Rica. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so I introduced him uh, 
uh, my 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 son's business also, yeah, like that. Yeah, and anyways, they came back. Uh, I, 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 they built it uh, Japan. Yeah, last October. Okay. Yeah, they they are the they are yeah sent uh, you uh, they are the uh, from. Uh, Wisconsin, yeah, yeah, same place. Oh, that's where I'm from. There you go, yeah. Wisconsin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they live in uh, for a while, uh, Florida, yeah, and got married, and they decided to move the uh, Costa Rica's uh, Eco Village uh, last October. So she was, uh, they were very busy for that settling down the. Oh sure, they have to learn Spanish too. Yeah, and uh, so that they want to get a uh, relaxed, relaxed weeks uh, just after the moving. Sure. And and they they get a luckily they got the last minute ticket to Japan. Oh. So they uh, come to uh, they spend and so that they they mail me. Uh, uh, I want to be to your uh, in Nagasaki, so oh, oh, I replied them. Yeah, okay. Any, anytime, any day you can stay with us. Uh, like ten years ago. <laughs> That's great. So we, we enjoyed a good um, weeks with them. Yeah. That's really fantastic. And you can talk yeah. about the uh, this lesson too with them also. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. And I I asked them to the. Uh, Presentation to the student, our students, oh. uh, about uh, uh, their story, yeah, Wisconsin and Florida and Costa Rica's is their life, and they explain why they change, uh, uh, why they move to. Uh, they are uh, thirty years old, no kids, so that they're easy to go. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Uh, yeah. Anyway. That's great. Yeah. Hold up, hold up, Kuni. Let me let me go to Jerry. Jerry had a, another question. Jerry, what was mm -hmm. your other question? It's a pronunciation question. Can you put it in the chat room again? Okay. Okay. So Jerry, I'm gonna put it in the. You try it first. Okay. The first one, president. The second one, president. Sounds uh, very sounds, close for me. Yep, you, be, you did a great job. So remember, when we make the S sound, there's no vibration. It's very clear, precedent. And when we make the Z sound, there's vibration in your throat, president. And yes, they are similar, especially if they talk quickly, but hopefully in the context, you can understand. President, precedent, precedent, president. And now Jerry has a bad connection. Can you hear me, Jerry? Uh-oh. Can you hear, can anybody hear me?